Okay, so before we get started, I thought I'd go ahead and show you a couple of um, finished projects um, that I've done with this pattern. This right here is what it will look like with a border. And for this one, I use a Dishy Multi. Um, I believe the color is Sailboat. And if you saw our $100 Knit Picks yarn haul, um, this is one of the um, yarns that I bought. So, and this one here is probably my favorite one so far. I put a double border on this one and this is a peaches and cream 100% um, cotton yarn but yeah that's pretty much what they look like as you can see here I'd, if you follow us on Instagram you'll know that I've been addicted to making these washcloths lately so let's go ahead and jump right into it um, today I will be using some Dishy Multi again this is 100% cotton um, I bought this in our um, $100 Knit Picks yarn haul as well and I will be using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook for this. Um, a lot of people would like to use a five millimeter. I tend to use smaller, so I'm using a four and a half. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, like most projects, first thing you want to do is start off with a slip knot. And you can do this whatever way you find best for yourself. And this is a very easy stitch. Um, really only thing you have to know is a single crochet and there really isn't even a lot of counting either. So that's why, one of the reasons why I picked this is because it is that easy. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to ch chain two. There's one and there's two. Now on that first, all right, sorry about that. My son's yelling, he is perfectly fine. He was just having a little bit of a moment. You know how sometimes kids just wake up in that mood? Well, he woke up in that mood for whatever reason. So I had to take care of him for a second. So the only thing that we've done so far is we have chain two. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're going to do a single crochet or two single crochets in that first chain that we made, okay? So in that first chain, we're gonna put in there two single crochets. And for this whole pattern, the only stitch we're going to use is a single crochet. So it is super, super easy. Now, the next thing we need to do is just chain one, and we're gonna turn our work. Now we have two chains here, and, oh, I'm sorry, let me center up for you all. We got two chains here. For this whole project, we're gonna just use the back loop only on our chains. So we're gonna do two single crochets and if we're gonna do two single crochets and we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch except for the last one, we're gonna do two single crochet, or two, yeah, two single crochets. Now what that's doing is we're chaining one after we finish a row. That is part of our increase. And then our last one, we will do two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. As you can see here, we're starting our corners. Two single crochets in that first stitch. One single crochet following until we get to that last stitch. That last chain, I'm sorry. And that last one we'll put two. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our pattern. I told you it was super easy. Grab some more yarn here. So this is what it's looking like so far. And just quickly, I have one I'm working on. What we're making right now, and this is what's happening, we're increasing, okay? Now we'll, we'll, all we have to do is we're gonna continue on with this pattern. And once it gets to, let me zoom out for you guys. Once you get to a length, we're going this way, once you get to a length that you feel is long enough, that's when we're gonna start our decrease. 
okay and it's very easy to decrease we're gonna get there in a second but go ahead and just keep going until you feel like it's long enough um, for me right here is where I measure okay this is the way we're working this is where we measure 10 inches seems to be the sweet spot that everybody tends to like um, so I usually hover between 8 and 10 inches this one right here is 10 inches um, I believe this one is too. Let's see, this one right here is an eight inch. You can see it's just a little bit smaller. So, but this seems to be the size that everybody likes. So if you want 10 inches, go 10 inches and then um, we will start decreasing. All right, so since I am only doing a swatch, I'm just making a small little section and hopefully you guys are at least to the point where you are ready to decrease. Um, so hopefully if you've measured, you're about 10 inches, eight to 10 inches or however long you really want it to be. And it's looking about like this. So now I'm going to show you how to do a decrease. I'm going to finish my last row here. Um, let me zoom in for you all. So I'll put my two single crochets in that first stitch and then I'll do one single crochet and the, the rest except for the last one where we do two single crochets. And while I'm doing that, just, I just wanted to mention that one of the reasons why I like this pattern and I guess others too because it is very textured so when you're washing your face or dishes or whatever it does have enough texture to really either exfoliate or get junk off dishes um, so that's one reason why as a user people like it and I know as making them I mean how can you not like this it grows quickly especially since it's corner to corner um, the end design is pretty cool looking and it's just single crochets so it may get a little boring at time for the more seasoned crocheters, but for the beginners, not only is this great practice, it creates a really cool finished object. So I'm at my last stitch here. So I'm gonna put two single crochet. Oh, I'm sorry. We are not gonna do that. So to decrease, when you have two um, chains left, you're going to single crochet them together. So to do that, all you do is enter a loop, back loop only, pull through so you yarn over. You got two loops on your, your hook. Go through that second and last chain. Yarn over so you have three. And we're gonna single crochet that together. We'll still do our chain one and turn our work and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So in that first chain, we're gonna enter that back loop and yarn over. Go into the next chain, yarn over so we have three. We just did our de decrease. And just like before, we'll just do single crochets in each of the following chains until we get to the end. And we will not single crochet into the last two. And that is when we will single crochet two stitches together. While we're doing this, if you haven't already, if you like this video, um, please hit that like button. I know Nikki and I had a giveaway not too long ago and we asked for some comments on what you guys would like to see. And this was one of the items you all would like to see. So hopefully I am doing it justice and I am 
teaching properly, I am not a very good teacher. Miss Nikki is the teacher here. She is phenomenal teaching and giving instructions. I am learning. So we are at the last two stitches. I'm sorry, the last two chains. I keep saying stitches, I don't know why. We're in the last two chains, one, two. So we're gonna single crochet those last two together. So yarn over, Let me get my hand straight here. And in that last stitch, enter into the back loop, yarn over so we have three, and yarn through all three. Chain one, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. There you go. And then we are going to single crochet in each stitch and do the same thing the last. And what that's doing is, as you can see, it's starting to slowly close. Right here. And every time we do that, we're taking away a stitch. So it will eventually just start creeping up until we get to the top. So let's do, I'll do one more with you all. Single crochet in each stitch until we get to the last two. Zoom back in for you. All right, so we're at the last two. And we will single crochet those two together. We'll chain one, turn our work, do the same thing, single crochet two together. So by now I believe you guys got it. As you can see that is going in. So I'm gonna continue on um, and I will meet you all at the very end and I'll show you how to do a border if you choose to. thing so if you don't like a border you are done all you got to do is just finish off your work weave in your in and you are done but for those of you who do want to do a border we're gonna do that right now and it's very easy as well so once you finish you just want to chain one and we are going to do single crochets all the way across okay now where you single crochet Kind of depends on you but the main thing is you want to just keep it even so where i am going to single crochet it let me zoom in a little more for you all i'm going to go in here and then probably this front loop here and it should be pretty consistent on this edge here it will change on the next edge so i'll go through here and here so just I would say the only advice I have is just to make it pretty consistent and make your spacing as even as you can. There isn't really a wrong way to do this. So single crochet all the way across. And if you choose to do back loop, if you choose to do front loop, just make sure whatever you choose to do, you stay consistent. So we are reaching the corner here. And when we get to the corner, so it's gonna be a little bit different. So as you can see, that's, I mean, it's very easy. 
when you get to the corner where we're at now we're going to put three single crochets and what that's going to do is it's going to give you a turned look for your corner so there's our three see how it just naturally turned and also it's going to lay nice and flat that's why i like to put three at the corner now this will be a little bit different but it's going to be the same concept we're going to single crochet and you just want to make sure your spacing is even you want to stay consistent so i'm with my first one right here and you just want to it's it's easy i mean i don't believe you can really do this wrong if you just keep your spacing even even as you can anyway and then once we get to that corner it's going to be the exact same thing we're going to put three single crochets in that corner There's one, there's two, and there's three. We'll turn our work, grab some more yarn, and we will continue on. And you should have your tail here. I'm just going to weave mine in with the work. I'll just find where you want a single crochet at. And just wave it in. All right, we're reaching that corner again. Same thing. Three double crochets. I'm sorry, three single crochets. Turn your work and continue on. It can be a little tricky where to insert your hook sometimes, but trust me, whatever you choose to do, it will likely turn out just fine. And I believe my son is headed over here and he has his iPad so we hear some background noise sorry about that all right so for this last stitch all you have to do is we're gonna insert our hook all right my son is here with a lot of noise so I'm gonna pause and come back all right sorry about that um, yeah daddy duty calls so on our last stitch what we're going to do is we're not going to finish that stitch and we can go ahead and cut our yarn leave a little bit of a tail and we're going to need a tapestry needle all right and all we had to do is our needle here Basically, we're going to complete that last stitch. This is really hard for me to explain. I've been thinking for a couple days on how to explain this, but I think the best way is just to show you. You're going to complete the stitch which you would normally use with your hook, but you're going to complete it with your tapestry needle. So you're going to go through that loop, okay? And we're going to enter right um, where that last stitch we made, we're going to go through that. And we're just going to tighten it up a little bit. Okay. And it should give you like an invisible stitch. So to make it invisible, we're going to go right back into that loop. And it's going to complete that stitch. So it's going to make it look like all the other stitches. And then we'll just weave it in. So, there we 
yeah and i have found that with um with doing this um it does the yarn will not come out it's pretty stuff's pretty resilient really all right and then just make it disappear Once you feel like you've got it in there good enough, take your needle out, find your scissors again, cut it. We can cut that off too because that was weaved in pretty good. And voila, ladies and gentlemen, that is our finished project. Simple corner to corner, single crochet, washcloth pattern i hope you guys enjoyed it um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you want to see more videos like this let us know in the comment section down below um, like i said earlier this is one thing that you all um, wanted to see so i hope i did a good job um, like i said i'm not a very good teacher that is miss nikki but i'm trying to guys i'm trying